this week is actually talking about culture and heritage and right across Canada. So we just thought it would be a beautiful opportunity to come and see this new installation. I believe this is a fairly new installation. And uh, as we were seeing in there, there are some incredible uh, fossils on display, hopefully to really trigger some excitement with our youth. As you can see behind me, we have a, uh, a really beautiful structure, disarticulated uh, dinosaur that comes from the Tyrannosaurus Rex family. Um, I think it's called, I can't remember, the Displaytosaurus? Is that what it's called? Yeah. And uh, But these, are, these displays are spectacular, not only because they show families what a dinosaur would have looked like, but if you get a chance to get close to this one, it shows an exploding head and how they would have potentially found it underground. Dinosaurs sell themselves. We don't need to talk about the Terrell Museum as such, that they get a lot of visitors every year. But the actual displays that are coming, there's a huge opportunity for education and to be able to share. And as a very, very, um, I'm, I'm a child at heart when it comes to these things, it really makes me excited. And I'm really, really happy to be able to share this and have this amazing, amazing museum in our province. What a gem, right? It's just amazing. The preparation lab, which was one of the parts of the tour, uh, this is one of the most amazing parts of our museum. Not every museum has a preparation lab. And so we're actually able to do all of the fossil preparation for the specimens that we research right here in-house. And so that's an asset that's incredibly important to us. It means that we don't have to send specimens away to get them prepared. We can do very large-scale preparations on very large blocks, including very large dinosaurs. Um, and so it makes the research a lot more efficient when we can do it that way. Um, our Fossils in Focus exhibit, which is our annually changing exhibit, this started about five years ago, that was the inaugural Fossils in Focus. Um, that exhibit is really important to us because it provides visitors, and especially our return visitors, with something new to see every year. They can be guaranteed that our exhibit will change every year. And museums all suffer from one thing. It's very difficult to change exhibits uh, for a variety of reasons. Many of them are very large-scale built-in exhibits. They're difficult to change. They're very costly. So if you can have at least one section in the museum where visitors are assured of being able to see something new every year, that's a huge bonus to us. So we went through uh, the techniques and tools that are used by the preparation technicians here at the Royal Trail Museum. Uh, the large preparation lab is where we work on the big, um, large projects that we have at the museum. Uh, so the, these include a lot of the dinosaurs, marine reptiles, any of the really large vertebrate fossils that we work on. Uh, so some of the main, main tools that we use are air scribes. So essentially they're mini jackhammers and they mechanically remove the rock uh, from the surface of the fossil. Uh, other tools that we use include scalpel blades, so something that is um, very small or soft, we can use a sharp scalpel blade to remove it. Uh, we can get a lot of dexterity with that and a lot of fine detail. And other tools include awls. Um, we might have to go bigger, something like a larger jackhammer. Um, something else that we would use would be a paintbrush or a dental pick. Uh, so that's really fine detailed work. And we can do everything right down to um, something with a, a pin or a needle um, if it's really delicate work under a microscope. Uh, so the glues that we use, um, it is essentially a plastic dissolved in acetone. And we use those glues because they're reversible. We can use acetone on them again to um, remove the glue if we need to but we know that they are very strong glues, that they're uh, stable over a long period of time, so we know that the specimens are not going to fall apart if they're stored in our collections for over 100 years. And you never would expect in a million years that you would be so fortunate to be able to go behind the scenes. So I don't quite know how to express the excitement that I have for having the privilege of being able to be with these incredible doctors and associates and experts and technicians, for them to take their precious time away from the work that they're doing to, to spend some time with me. And us being able to continue collecting fossils and doing the research on fossils, that's the most important thing, because that really forms the backbone for our museum. Everything that we do in this museum, from exhibits to our educational programs, all of that stems from the research that we do right here in-house. So we have top-notch scientists working on specimens and we have a top-notch field program that allows us to collect specimens every summer. And that fuels our research.